Another one on. Damn. All right, guys, we're at South Point Boat Landing. We are going to be fishing the South Carolina side of Lake Wiley today, tonight. Do I? Right? Yeah. I couldn't really tell the difference. That is a gas tank. Is that not a gas tank? That has to be dock. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so we're on Lake Wiley tonight. We're gonna be targeting Arkansas blue catfish again. We're just gonna go out and anchor up. We're gonna just run and gun. We're gonna continue to do what we've been doing. It's been working, so. Carolina rig on uh, Ambassador 6500s with a big cat beaver rod, 70 pound braid, a 50 pound mono leader, seven knot to 10 knot circle hooks. We got some rigged up for drifting. We're just gonna leave them rigged up and we're gonna anchor fish with the drift rig just because we're too lazy to change them out. These boys know how to catch some fish. Hey there, little fella. You are catfish food. Oh, don't fall in, guy. I love you, but I ain't going in after you. You can swim, you're just cut the man up. He got out of there quick, though, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Dang, man, that makes some rods look good over there. Yeah, I think he did. Good fish, good fish. That's a good fish guy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Tyler said, oh, he ain't that big. He's just a little cat. A little cat nothing. 25 pounder at least, ain't it? Dang Mouth on that joke. Freaking fatty. That's a good one. I told you I did exactly where I wanted it, but I felt bad about moving. Right oh, in the corner of the mouth, baby. Good hook to tell you what kind Good hook set. Nah, he was hooked for days. Oh, fatty, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I might have been a little off on my 25 pound. It's a good fish. Guess whose scales are on my boat? Yours? Yeah. Easy. Let me grab a hold of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we haven't been out here very long. And we've uh, we've lucked up and hooked on to a pretty good fish. Good fish, man. I ain't putting him on my shoulder to no feet. <laughs> oh, there he goes. What is he, what are you doing there, guy? <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. No, I don't think that was as big as that last one. Fish of my life, y'all. Right. <laughs> Wiggles in eight pound flathead. Eight pound. Huh? It was 30. Oh, good. Decent fish. That was a 30 pound fish, bro. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Fatty, look at that belly. Don't you tell me the fillets if you can see muscle. Ain't that what you say? Yeah. You can hear them. Hear him? Another one on. Yeah, he 
it should have. What did he eat that time? Well, we just got another fish. Pretty good size one. Yeah, good teenage fish. No, that last one was a lot bigger. Yes, sir. Corner of the mouth. Yep. Peter Melhorn said it's these fish that'll get you. The one that got him was like fish aquarium catfish. Ooh, he's peeing. All right. Are you ready? Yep. What are we doing, Spivey? Scaring the fish off with that loud bait well thumb. How are we fishing tonight? We are fishing with cut perch and cut brim and some shad. How are we presenting it? Live, filleted, chunked, perch salad, perch soup, perch gumbo, perch sandwich, perch burger, perch casserole, perch. Alright, that was pretty funny because I ran out of perch things. So you're just fishing on. I gotta pee. Hang Stuck on. him. Looks like a good fish. I'm peeing, man. You ain't peeing. You yes, said you was gonna cut your feet. There he is. I think that one's bigger than the last one. you're up. All right, guys, if you can remember a couple of videos ago, had a bearing go bad at the boat ramp. Genius me didn't go ahead and change the other bearing. We just had this one go bad on our way home. Man, I your sandals all right, man. Sorry, right, because I'm nervous right now. All right, guys, you're going to want to pull this cotter pin out on your spindle nut. Then you're going to take your spindle nut off. It should be loose already. Then your tying washer. Now 
there's what's left of the outer bearing. I don't know if you can see it, the lighting's not that good, but the outer bearing is absolutely demolished. Alrighty. There's the there's the bearings in the see there's nothing left. They just all fell right out. That's which that's good. That's what you want. It tells me we caught it in time. There's what's left of the inner bearing. There's the the cage of the outer bearing. See how it's exploded right there. That's the seal that goes on the back of the hub, and there is the outer bearing right there, and hopefully it's not welded to the spindle. <sighs> I'm gonna let you do it like that.